Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. Quick video called Contamination. Um, these injectors have been in this engine approximately two years and it was all spotlessly clean. It does get used in off-road conditions, so of course the dust and dirt is gonna come down through the intercooler and pour over the top of the engine. There is a cover over the cover, but of course it gets around where the solenoids are and around the injector inlets. You can see the mess around the injector inlets and that's what this is about. So every time you open your fuel system to check your valve clearances to take this cover off, whether you're taking the injectors out or not, and if you're gonna go that far, you may as well take them out and change those seats. But this is to point out the risk of contamination. See, as careful as we can be, we've cleaned this up as we've gone through it. I purposely didn't clean up that sand and that that's sitting around the bottom of the holes to show you. That's after washing down the engine before we worked on the vehicle how much de debris is still in place. If you have a look at that injector inlet, you can see little bits of sand and crud. We've got little ways of uh, what we do that hopefully that doesn't end up in the injector. It's a 99% thing, um, but it's very risky. And most people, they just don't take the care. So they're just gonna manhandle your vehicle and your cover and your pipes, taking them off, bending your pipes, ripping that cover out. And that stuff there is probably not gonna get cleaned away from your injector inlets and maybe end up in your injectors. So. If you have problems with your engine or injectors, no surprise if it's been somewhere to have 40, 80, 120, every 40,000 K service, by the book, if they're doing it right, the valve clearances are supposed to be checked, which includes removing the injectors and checking them with a feeler gauge. Now, in our opinion, that doesn't need to be done. It's not worth the risk of contamination. You check the valve clearances when you change your injectors. And this is why I hope you get what I'm saying up to you it's you can have your own opinion it's up to you what you want to do but that's the way we see it very risky